We are going to build the first part of this web page. All right. So we are going to build this nav bar right here. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm just going to minimize this. And then uh, so I've got a uh, template for us to use here. Um, I've got all the required uh, tags and everything we need uh, that Bootstrap requires and then the two scripts down here for our jQuery and the tether. And then as always, let's go ahead and download Bootstrap so that we have the latest version. So go ahead and open up your uh, browser here. I need to open up a new tab. All right. And then just go to Bootstrap 4. And then we'll click on the top link here. And then we're just going to come down to the middle. Click Download Bootstrap. And we're going to grab the uh, CSS and JS, just the basic version here. And then wherever your project is located, uh, where you saved it, go ahead and save the project there. So I'm going to come into my uh, desktop. And then I've got a right uh, here. All right, so we've got that saved, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the uh, file, unzip it, and that way we've got it unzipped, and I'm going to delete the zipped uh, file. We don't need it, and that's it. So let's uh, come back to Bootstrap. Now we've got uh, Bootstrap here, so let's go ahead and uh, connect the CSS for the grid system. So let's do Bootstrap, the CSS, and then I'm going to grab the grid minified version. And then in here, we're going to grab the Bootstrap folder, the CSS, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, and I'm just going, going to grab the minified CSS here. And then we've got to add the uh, Bootstrap JavaScript. So in our scripts down here, the last script tag is empty. So we can add the uh, Bootstrap. This time, open up the JavaScript folder and grab the minified JavaScript. Awesome. And then go ahead and save that. Now. Uh, what we're going to do is Bootstrap has a pre-built component uh, for us for a nav bar. So come back over to your browser and then scroll up to the top and we're going to be going into a documentation. So we're already there, but just make sure that you're in the uh, documentation. And then we're going to come down to components here on the right. And then if we scroll down, uh, we've got a nav bar here. So go ahead and click that. And then this is a bunch of options that Bootstrap provides for us for nav bars. So what we're going to do is we want to have a nav bar with uh, some links here at the top in a drop down list. But you can see they've got some with links and uh, search menus, uh, standard nav bars that you can just build from scratch for yourself, ones that you can throw icons in. And the one that we want is going to be down here. So almost the middle. It's the one that has the uh, drop down link here. And go ahead and click the copy button. And then head back over to brackets. And then right underneath the body tag, go ahead and paste that. Now we've got a lot of stuff uh, going on here. Um, let's kind of look at this and use what we need to use. So these classes up here are adding the shape and the background uh, to our nav bar. You can see that we're using a nav bar light. Um, let's go ahead and launch this so I can show you what it looks like. So the navbar light is going to give us this light gray background. Okay, so this is the default of the classes that uh, Bootstrap provides for us. Uh, come back to the text editor. We want this to be darker, and I'll show you how we can do this. Um, so let's start off with first things first. Let's change the color of our navbar. Okay, so come back over to uh, uh, bootstrap here in the browser. If we scroll down, Bootstrap actually has some classes uh, that will allow us to change the color right out of the box. So see these color schemes right here? What we're going to use is this dark one right here. So it's the first one here and it's the navbar inverse background inverse, the BG inverse. So go ahead and just copy this part. This is the only class that we need to change the color of this. So back to brackets, we are going to get rid of the navbar light and the BG faded. Okay, get rid of that and paste in the navbar inverse BG inverse. Okay, and then save this document, come back over uh, to the browser and refresh. Now you can see that we've got some different colors going on here. So pretty cool. 
All right, so back over to brackets. Let's look uh, at what else is going on in this nav bar here. So this button right here, uh, you don't see it right now, um, but this is the drop down menu. Okay, so this is the nav bar toggler. And then uh, you, you can see that this uh, data toggle is gonna allow us to collapse the nav bar. We've got a, um, a data target here uh, with just some example text in it. And this is what's going to do this for us. So as we shrink down the browser, see how we've got this uh, drop down list here? That's exactly what this class in here is doing for us. Bootstrap provides us out of the box. So it looks like there's a lot going on in this nav bar here uh, that we copy and pasted, and it's because there is. <laughs> um, and then you can see that as this, uh, we've got the nav bar toggler icon here, which gives us that uh, icon when the uh, viewport gets small enough to do our drop down menu. And then right here, this is where our drop down menu occurs. So what we want to do now is go through the content here and adjust it to the way that we need it. So this, uh, this first link here, uh, this nav bar, let me show you. This is a uh, kind of like the home link here in the corner, okay? Just uh, you can actually take this and wrap it in a span tag and put an image in there if you'd like or just kind of keep it as a text anchor. And in this case, we're just gonna kind of leave it as the anchor tag that it is, but why don't we rename it to something cool like skate? <laughs> so there we go. And then let's go ahead and rename the links here, all right, these nav items. So the first one, let's um, rename this to, well, actually we're keeping that as home and then we're changing these ones to uh, videos and then photos, all right? So we've got that and then down here, this is where our drop down link is, okay? So you can see uh, that we've got a new link item or list item and then we've got an anchor in here which is our drop down menu so we've got the nav link drop down toggle, all right? And this is, you can just throw in a dead link here. Um, and then it has the ID, right? Because IDs allow JavaScript to interact with our elements. So the ID of this is allowing it to call the drop dropdown, uh, which is right here, and allows us to get uh, this list here. And we're gonna change this to pants, shirts and apparel all right so that's our drop down uh, list here so go ahead and save that and uh, refresh the browser oh, I think I lost uh, some connection here let me relaunch this oh and we have to change this let's do that while we're here real quick so this uh, like I said this is the drop down right here and inside that anchor tag just go ahead and uh, type in swag all right, now go ahead and relaunch this and we'll, it will uh, refresh. Cool, so we've got our uh, main anchor here and then we've got home, videos, and swag with our drop down with pant shirts and apparel. This is great. So one thing that I wanna show you here is let's come back to brackets and I wanna show you, uh, you saw that home was highlighted uh, on our page. That's because on the first list item, we've added this class called active, all right? And then if we look into this class here, this SR only, and then it says current, what this means is SR only means screen reader only. So sometimes uh, like people who are, who are colorblind or when the display gets small, this SR only, uh, it'll change it from a highlighted color to an actual text and say current. So browsers or the viewport will detect um, when someone has like a screen reader on, like an option on. So that way they can get actual text to display as current instead of a highlighted uh, color, just in case uh, they're colorblind or something. So a really cool class uh, to take note of. So let's check this out again. So we have completed the nav bar, this is it. We've got the color we want, we've got the drop down. You can see Bootstrap adds some uh, slight highlights here for us. And then uh, we've got a highlight as we hover over uh, these links here. And then check this out, as this thing goes mobile, it changes into a drop down icon, 
which has our list here, and then we can still do our drop down menu in here of our swag. And uh, yeah, it's cool. Bootstrap does all of that for us. So that wraps up this lesson. Let's move on.